Somebody give me the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verses 1 and 2. Let's see what the Bible say. We tired of people going around hollering about what they say or what the preachers say. Let's start doing and believing what the Bible say. Read. Book of Isaiah, chapter 14, and verse 1. Read, brother. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. The Lord will have mercy on Jacob. And will yet choose Israel. And will yet choose who? Israel. And will yet choose Israel, the 12 tribes. Read. That's right. And set them in their own land. And give us our own land that has been taken away from us. He's going to give us our land back. And the strangers shall join with them. All the heathens, all the other 17 nations, everyone that has had the Israelites in captivity. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And they're going to be right up under us. Verse 2. And the people shall take them. We're not going to ask no questions. We're going to take them. And bring them to their place. And bring them to their place of That's servitude. Right. And the house of Israel shall possess them. And we're going to do what? Possess, possess them. them. We're going to possess them. In the land of the Lord. In the land of who? Lord. In the land of the Lord. For servants. For and, what? For servants. Uh-huh. And handmaids. Are you sure you read the Bible, brother? Con. Read. And handmaids. Uh-huh. So like, for servants. For who? For servants. That's servants. right. And handmaids. Uh-huh. And they shall take them captives. Wait a minute. What did the Bible say? And they shall take them captives. We're going to take them captives. Whose captives they were. We were their captives. But we're going to take them captives. Thus says who? The Most High. Read. And they shall rule over their oppressors. And they're going to do what? Rule over their oppressors. We're going to rule over them devils. Read. That's what we're going to do. We're going to rule over our oppressors. I would say that, that I would say that we go rule the nations all over the earth. That's right, brother. All over the earth, we gonna rule. Everywhere we been, everywhere we in captivity at, we gonna rule. That's right. Read. Revelation chapter two, verse twenty-five. Read, brother. But that which ye have already hold fast till I come. That what we have hold fast till he come. Because they were burning our Bible back in the Maccabees. That's they were right. burning things. But God says, hold on. Hold fast to that which you already have. Because it's enough for you until I return. Read. And he that overcometh and keepeth my word. He that overcometh and keepeth my word. Until the end. Until when? Until the end. Until the end. To him. Well, I gave power over the nations. I will give you power over the nations. If you keep my word to the end, keep my law, statutes, and commandments, That's I will right. give you power over what, brother? Over the nations. Over the nations. Read that next scripture. Read the one right below there. 27. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And we're going to rule them with a rod of iron. That's what the Bible says, brothers and sisters. That's right. We're going to rule if we come back to the Most High God, Law, Statutes, and Commandments. The book of Revelations, chapter 20 and verse 5. Read, brother. But the rest of the dead lived not. Uh-huh. Again, until the thousand years were finished. Uh-huh. This is the first resurrection. This is the first what? Resurrection. resurrection. This is the first resurrection, brothers and sisters. Blessed and holy is he that have part in the first resurrection. You are blessed if you got part in the first resurrection. That means that you're going to have life and you won't have death. On such the second death have no power. The second death has no power. The second death is the lake of fire. But they shall be priests of Yahweh. They shall be men of the Most High God. And of Hamashiach and shall reign 
with him a thousand years. And we're gonna reign with him a thousand years. That's right. And when the thousand years are expired, uh -huh. Satan shall be loosed out of his prison. He has been loosed out of his prison. And shall go out to deceive the nations. Shall go out and deceive who? The nations. Shall go out and deceive the nations. Which are in the four court quarters of the earth. Talking about the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Wherever right. they have been dropped off on those slave ships, that's where the adversary, that's where the devil is. Because the devil hates you. Because he hates God. That's right. Gog and uh, uh, Magog to gather them together to battle. See? We're going to get with the Most High God. We're going to be dealing with these people. He's going to give us the authority in a little while, brothers and sisters. Tell it. He's going to come out. He's going to be sent for many fishes. And then after that, <laughs> he ain't going to be sending uh, no fishes out. He's going to be sending the people out to destroy these wicked people. Even some of our people, they are going to go too. That's right. Two thirds of them. Am I right, brothers? That's uh, right. Three. The number of whom is as the sand of the sea. See, we can't be numbered like it tells us in the book of Hosea. We can't be numbered. That's the, we like the sand of the sea. The more they try to kill us, the more we multiply. Am I right, brothers? That's right. There's no nation in the world that can be able to go through what we go through and still stand tall today. Read, brother, what you got. Romans chapter 9, verse 13. Read. As... As it is written, uh -huh. Jacob have I love. Who have I love? Jacob. Read. Have I love, but Esau have I hated. Read. What shall we say then? Is there a righteousness with God? Just because God say Jacob have I love, but Esau have I hated. Why? Do you think God is unfair? God, God forbid. No. Read. For he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. I do what I want to do. I'm God. That's I'm right. going to have mercy on who I want to have mercy on. Who are you to tell me anything? You've already been disobedient from day one. So why are you trying to come and ask me some questions about my activity and the things that I'm going to do? I'm God and I'm God all by myself. That's right. Read. Hebrews 12 and 16. Talking about Esau. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau. See, they were profane then and they were profane today. Those demons and devils. Read. Who for one morsel of meat uh -huh. sold his birthright. Sold his birthright for one morsel of meat because he was out there in the wilderness hunting. And he didn't get anything and he came back and he wanted that raw porridge that Jacob was cooking. That's right. Read. For ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing. When he would have inherited the blessing by being righteous. He was rejected. He was what? Rejected. The white man is rejected, brothers and sisters. Read. For he found no place of repentance. Because he can't repent. Though he sought it. Carefully with tears. Though he was crying like a baby, <laughs> he still couldn't have no repentance. So if the Bible says that they can't have no repentance, how somebody else gonna go and make Bible and say that they can? That's going against what God's word is saying. Am I right, brother? That's right. You cannot do that. Read. Genesis chapter twenty-five, verse twenty-five. Read, brother. And the first came out red. All over like a hairy garment. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. And they call his name Esau. They call his name what? Esau. They call his name Esau. That's what the Bible say, brother. That's Listen. right. Obey and believe what the Bible say. You cannot go wrong. You only go wrong when you come out your own foolish imagination and thoughts. Listen and believe what the word of God is saying. That's right. Because every word is true. Read, my brother. Genesis 
chapter 36 and verse 8. Uh-huh. Thus dwelt Esau in Mount Seir. Thus dwelt Esau in Mount Seir. That's why they like all these big, tall, high skyscraper buildings. That's because right. it's a part of who they are. Read. Esau is Edom. Esau is who? Edom. He's an Edomite. Read. And these are the generations of Esau, the father of the Edomites. He's the father of the Edomites. That's what he is. He's the father of the Edomite. Esau is the father of the Edomites. He's the devil that the Bible speaks of. Am I right, brothers? That's right. He's the devil that the Bible speaks of. And there's no contemplating it. There's no switching or changing it up like they do in them scoffer Bibles that they make. The word is stand tall through it all That's on right. its own. Read. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 16. Read, brother. There is no end of all the people. I want y'all to listen at this scripture because this scripture talks about immortality. Read. Even of all that have been before them. You've been here before, brothers and sisters. They also that come after shall not rejoice in him. See, those that come after shall not rejoice in him. We've been here before. We have to start to understand that we have been here before. Because have you ever felt like, man, I've seen this day before? Man, something, man, some, man. Have I been through this day before? Because that's your spirit. That's a testament to what the word of God is saying. That you have been here before, brothers and sisters. That's right. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. Read. And now Israel. And now who? Israel. Know the whole world. Israel. Israel. Read. What doth the Lord thy God require of thee? What do God require of us? There's some things that we have to do. We can't just say, God, forgive me and everything is okay. There's things that the Israelites have to do. But to fear Lord, Salakia, but to fear the Lord thy God. But to obey God. To walk in all his ways. Keep his law, statutes, and commandments. And to love him. And to love him. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and all thy soul. Thirteen. To keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. For thy good. If we want the good of the land, if we want a good life, we have to keep God's law, statutes, and commandments. Am I right, brothers? There's nothing hard about this. It's a choice that we make. We're going to what? The book of Jeremiah 83 tells us that, and death shall be chosen rather than life. Choose life, my brothers, not death. Life is keeping the commandments. Death is doing your own thing. That's right. Read. Read it, brother. This got a precept. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6 and verse 25. Read that. And it shall be our righteousness. What did the Bible say? And it shall be our righteousness. Read. If we observe to do all these commandments. No, five of them. All Lord. these commandments. No, just ten. All Lord. these commandments. Read. Before the Lord our God. Before the Lord our God. As he hath commanded us. Because he said so. That's right. Because he commanded us to do it. Not nobody else. You do what other people tell you to do all the time. But when it comes to the Most High God, everybody want to be honorary, disrespectful, and disobedient to our God. Wake up, you Israelite. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 4, 26. Read. For if we sin willfully. After you got this knowledge, after you got this truth, after you've been told what sin is and the wrongdoings are, read. After that, we have received the knowledge of the truth. If you receive the knowledge of this truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. There remain no more chances 
your grace is gone. If you sin willfully, after you've been told the knowledge of the truth, there uh -huh. remained no more sacrifice for sin. There remained no more excuses for you sinning willfully. Read, brother. The book of Proverbs, chapter 1 and verse 7. Read. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. See, when you obey God, that's the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. But what? But fools, fools despise, despise wisdom, wisdom and instruction. instruction. But fools despises wisdom and instruction. You can't tell a fool nothing. That's why I said don't even talk to a fool. Because he's going to talk about you. He's going to hate you. And he's going to go against everything that you say. That's what a fool would do. But a man that has wisdom, he's going to listen to because he knows when it is coming his way. He knows when the word is true to him. See? 